The Actuarial Foundation's Modeling the Future Challenge presents students with real world problems for them to use math and science to solve. The importance of both of those subjects cannot be underestimated. We need new solutions and new thinking to take on the problems that have not only existed in the past, but are certainly evolving to face us in the future. For this year's Modeling the Future Challenge, the participants were tasked with looking at the ramifications of climate change. You've taken on a tough topic uh, during a tough time, and your research adds real meat to the debate on the impact of climate change. We were actually pretty glad that the first phase of the challenge existed because the types of questions they asked helped us think about how to develop a model for an actual report. We were really able to bond as a team while learning so much about mathematical modeling. After a lot of hard work, we're really happy to be able to present our final paper. 11 talented teams were invited to present. Our team name is 10% Rule. We are Team Rocket. Uh, we are Peyton Team 2. Team Foxtrot. Team Jericho B. Team Adam. Mountain View, California. Proof School. Team Sana. Team Uniform one, Team Wise Out of Blue. We are so excited to hear uh, the presentation starting this afternoon. The question we ask ourselves as aspiring actuaries is what recommendations can we make to mitigate the harm that is projected? We want to start by asking each of you to put yourselves in the work boots of an 80 year old farmer. So let's jump into importance. Why does this all matter? We use the past 70 years of climate data as explanatory variables. Based on the literature, we've come across um, this, this picture on the bottom right, which summarizes it very well. We really enjoy talking to you guys, and we are ready to move into Q&A. The question and answer section really lets us test their knowledge. We don't hold back on these students. They have to know their stuff. So how do you reconcile the gap between what you ended up concluding and what we saw at the outset? You made a comment in the paper that it didn't seem likely that standard deviation would continue to increase through 2050. I had a couple of questions about your precipitation model. And I was just wondering if anyone had an opinion on, like, whether that was a negative or a positive thing. Could you talk more about how that fund would receive money, be populated with dollars, if you will? We recommended that insurance companies can analyze historical data and see what amount of precipitation preceded severe storms that caused a lot of damage to farmers. Our assumption of constant variance was driven out of it and it was a, a necessary assumption to make it's not something we can ignore there is some implementation of no-till farming right now but we think that it should be uh, more widely considered by farmers there are some disadvantages uh, but we believe that the long-term soil health um, outweighs these disadvantages these students handled our questions incredibly well this was a tough challenge but each one of these teams delivered it's been exciting to, to watch and I'm reassured by the determination and grit of uh, these amazing students. I was honored to present this year's winners of the 2020 Modeling the Future Challenge. We're really happy to have learned a lot and just thank you. We want to sincerely thank the Actuarial Foundation for creating the Modeling the Future Challenge. It was a great experience. Uh, as three of us are juniors, we hope to be able to do it again next year. Now for our first place winning team, it's Adams. It was truly a wonderful time, and we will take this experience with us into college. This year's Modeling the Future Challenge was a success for students in more ways than one. It's just remarkable. The biggest changes that I've seen in my students is um, just their diligence and their passion. I think one of the biggest changes is just the high level of vocab and the confidence they have when speaking with others about difficult concepts. The ability for them to take the math they've learned over the last four years and apply it to real world data is remarkable. They've come to recognize a number of things that are relevant to modeling and to real world problem solving as we call it. Thank you to all the participants. You may not all become actuaries, but I urge you to continue to develop your talents so that your research can be turned into stories that the public can understand and then conclude, yes, we need to prepare for the future. And you certainly are part of that future.